<laughs> That's attractive. Hey there, cheap bitches. I'm Rob, and this is on the cheap tip. Most of you guys have discovered my channel because of my weight loss videos. And if you haven't seen them yet, then you're really hiding under a rock because there's a multitude of them. And you can click one of them. I'll wait. Now the biggest part of losing weight is your diet, meaning that you have to eat right, and sometimes you have to eat less. But what happens when you can't fight the urge to eat? Well today I'm going to show you some natural appetite suppressants that will help you curb those hunger pains and help you get rid of that extra weight. Is it pangs or pains? I think it's pangs, right? Pang, pains, pangs, pangs, whatever. So let's get started. Number one. Dark chocolate. Now you're probably like, what? Chocolate? That's too delicious to be good for you. Well, you're right, bitch. That's why it's number one, because it's f***ing delicious. Now, dark chocolate is not only delicious, but the bitter taste is able to send signals to your brain to decrease your appetite naturally. Can you believe it? Eating a small amount of dark chocolate before or after a meal can mean the difference between being fully satisfied or clearing out your refrigerator. You make the choice. Choices. Number two, peanut butter. Now you might be saying that peanut butter is loaded with lots of fats, which is true, but they are mono and saturated fats, which helps to burn other fats. So it helps you kind of lose weight. Just saying. Peanut butter is also a nice, thick consistency. I cannot say that with a straight face, which helps you stay fuller longer. Eating a small spoon of peanut butter should help you curb that appetite. Yum. Number three, not six, three. Leafy greens. Leafy green vegetables are very nutritious for your body because they contain lots of vitamins and minerals and everything that does a body good. But they also contain lots of water, which is able to help you feel fuller. And it's funny that we mention water because that's our next tip. Number four, water. Now water is kind of self-explanatory because when you drink it, you feel fuller because it's expanding the stomach. And experts say that drinking a glass or two of water before each meal helps you to eat less. Duh, because you're fucking full. Number five, apples. Apples contain lots of fiber, which is very heavy on your stomach and makes you feel fuller. And apples also take longer to chew because you don't want to choke. Everyone make sure you're chewing your apples. And the longer you chew, the slower you eat, and the more time that your stomach has time to send a signal to your brain to trigger its fullness counter. I don't know what you would call that. My full meter? I don't know. Number six, eggs. Eggs are loaded with protein, which is known to help you feel fuller. And studies have shown that eating one or two eggs a day help you feel fuller throughout a 24 hour period. Why eat eggs though? I get a lot of gas, so I don't know if that's a good tip for me, but do with it what you will. Number seven, coffee. Or as New Jerseyans say it, coffee. Coffee is known to boost your metabolism to help you burn calories throughout the day. It also contains lots of antioxidants, but it's also known to suppress your appetite as well. Now, don't get me wrong, you don't wanna to add too much cream and sugar because that's gonna defeat all the benefits of the coffee. Go light. Light on the cream and the sugar, bitch. Now, I know that a lot of you are complaining that you don't drink coffee, so how about number eight, green tea? Green tea is not only a natural fat blocker, which is reason enough to drink it, but it also helps to stabilize your blood sugar. And when the blood sugar in your body is stabilized, it helps you to feel fuller. I bet you didn't know that, bitch. I didn't either until this morning. I just Googled it. Number nine, skim milk. Now, milk is a little bit of a thicker consistency than water, so hello, that's going to help you feel even more full, duh. And in some cases, it also bloats you, which helps you to feel fuller, but it's also going to bloat you, so I don't know how much you're gonna like that. But the bloating is temporary, and that's what helps you not eat. So, bloat up that, bloat up that, bloat up that stomach. Number 10, drum roll please. <laughs> Cayenne pepper. Now cayenne pepper works just like the dark chocolate did when the bitterness sends a signal to the brain. In this case, the spiciness sends a signal to the brain telling it, bitch, stop eating, we're done. But not only that, it also has been proven that a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper is able to help you burn calories. Yeah. 
And the reason is that spiciness gets your body so warm that you may start to sweat and burn calories. So next time you're at that Mexican restaurant, bring on the hot and spicy. I mean, you may blow another hole out your ass, but it may just be worth it to you. Who knows? Anyway, that's all the tips that I have for you today. Make sure that you comment down below, like this video, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next Monday for another cheap tip, and this Friday for more cheap laughs. Bye!